Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the problems on coplanar concurrent force system. So let us see the problem. Uh, they have given one twenty-six kilonewton force is a resultant of two forces. So here they have given the resultant force, which is twenty-six kilonewton, and this is the resultant due to two forces, out of which one force ten kilonewton is given to us. and they have said us to determine the other force so what we have to do is that what is that magnitude of the force and what is the direction of that force that has to be calculated so let us try to solve this problem in the previous problem directly theta angle was given to us we had used but here in this case instead of giving angle theta they have given us the slope So first, let us try to calculate the angles theta one and theta two. So let us try to calculate this theta one now. So theta one will be equal to based on the slope, you can calculate if this angle is theta one. So it is twelve by five. So therefore, this will be equal to tan inverse of twelve by five. So we will be getting answer as theta one will be equal to sixty seven point three eight. Similarly, we can calculate this theta two. This will be theta two. So tan theta is equal to three by four. So therefore, theta two will be equal to tan inverse of three by four. So therefore, this will be equal to thirty-six point eight seven. Then next, let us try to solve this problem. Again, same thing we'll have. That is summation of f of x has to be equated to resultant along x direction. Resultant along x direction. If you are going to resolve all the forces along x direction, that has to be equal to resultant along x direction. So therefore, we are going to have the equation. So we are going to have this summation of f of x. So therefore, now uh, let us try to. Uh, we have to take one force. Let me take one force uh, somewhere here. Somewhere here, I will take uh, one force. This is I will take it as P now, which is acting at an angle of theta, which is acting at an angle of theta now. So therefore, let us try to resolve the forces and let us try to get the solution. So this force P, I will resolve along x direction. So therefore, if you see the arrow, it is going to move towards right. So therefore, it will be plus, and along the angle, if you are going to resolve, it will be cos of theta. Then next, we will go to the second force that is ten ten kilonewtons. So if you are going to resolve along x direction, that will be plus. Force is ten kilonewton, and angle is theta two. So therefore, along the angle, it will be cos of thirty six point eight seven. So these are the two forces. Which we have resolved along x direction. Then next, this resultant has to be resolved along x direction. So that will be equal to 26, and uh, angle will be theta 1. So therefore, it will be cos of 67.38. 67.38. So with the help of this, if we are going to simplify this, we will be getting this equation as p cos theta. That will be equal to two. So we can take this as equation number one. Then next, what we can do? We can let us try to use another equation. That is summation of f of y. Summation of f of y that is equal to resultant along y direction. So if we are going to resolve this now, so I will draw another force uh, P. What we have one force P here we have which is acting at an angle of uh, theta. We don't know what is its magnitude and direction. So therefore, if you are going to resolve this force along y direction, this will be equal to P cos of theta. So this will be positive because this is if you are going to resolve along y direction. This will be moving upwards. 
Then next is we will take this 10 kN force. If you are going to resolve this force along y direction, along this y direction, then what happens is that this will be moving upwards. Therefore, this will be plus 10 into angle is with respect to horizontal. We will resolve it away from the angle that is to the vertical. Therefore, this will be sine of theta 2. So, theta 2 will be equal to 36.87. So, that is equal to now resultant along y direction. Resultant has to be resolved along y direction. So, resultant is 26 kN and the angle is theta 1. We are all going to resolve away from the angle. Therefore, this will be sine of 67.38. So, if you simplify this, we will be getting as, uh, so this will not be cos theta, this will be sin theta. Why? Because we are resolving away from the angle. So, therefore, this will be P sin theta will be equal to, if you simplify this equation, P sin theta will be equal to 18. So, this you can take it as equation number 2. So, from equation 1 and 2, what you can do? Uh, what you can say? Equation 2 divided by equation 1. So, that is equation number 2 divided by equation 1. So, therefore, this will be equal to P sin theta divided by P cos theta. That will be equal to 18 by 2. So, therefore, if you simplify this tan theta will be equal to 18 by 2. So therefore, further if you simplify, we will be getting answer of theta that is theta will be equal to 83.66. 83.66. So, this is the direction of the force P. Then next if you substitute somewhere here in this equation, or in the above equation number 1. So, we will be getting value of theta, uh, P, force P that will be equal to, if you substitute, we will be getting answer about 18.11 kilonewtons.